This cable stitch is an eight row repeat worked on a reverse stockinette background and the cable itself is worked over 10 stitches. So for each cable that you want to knit, you'll have to cast on 10 stitches and then add extra stitches for your reverse stockinette background. In this little sample here, I just have 12 extra stitches, six on each side of my cable. You can have more or less. It depends on what you're knitting. It depends on maybe if, I don't know, you're knitting something and you want four of these cables. You can have, you know, six stitches of reverse stockinette separating them. You can have two, three, four. Um, you could have more than six. It all depends on what you like and the look that you're going for. The first row of this pattern is just a plain knit row. I've gone ahead and done that already. And row two and all even rows are purl rows. And I've gone ahead and worked row two as well. So I'm going to be starting this little sample on row three. And as I said, this has worked on a reverse stockinette background. So before I get to the 10 stitches of my cable, I'm going to be knitting my six edge stitches here. And if you don't have a cable needle or don't like them, you can use a double pointed needle, which is what I'm using here. It doesn't really matter which one you use as long as you're comfortable working with it. So here are my reverse stockinette stitches. Okay, now we're ready to start on the cable part. And the first thing you're going to do is knit four stitches. And now take your cable needle or double pointed needle, slip the next two stitches off of your left needle. And you wanna make sure that you're holding these extra stitches in the back of your work and you're going to knit two from your left needle and now you need to knit these stitches that have been hanging out on your cable needle you can knit them directly from your cable needle or you can just slip them back onto the left needle and that's what I'm going to do. You can do it whatever way is most comfortable for you. So knit those two that were being held back. And now we're going to do a two stitch crossover. You're going to skip your first stitch on the left needle here and you're going to knit the second one first. Keep it on the left needle and then knit your first stitch and then you'll be dropping them off the left needle at the same time. And it can be a little tricky to get your needle into that second stitch. So what I do is just put my needle in as if I'm going to purl and just give it a little tug just so I have a little bit of room there and hold it in place so that it doesn't slip back or tighten up. And then it's a little easier to get your needle in there. So knit the second stitch, leave it on the left needle, and now you're going to knit that first stitch and drop them both off the needle at the same time. Okay, so that completes the 10 stitches for the cable, and I have, again, six edge stitches that I'm going to purl for my reverse stockinette background. Okay, so row four, an even row, so I need to purl my cable stitches, but for the reverse stockinette background, I'm going to be knitting all of those stitches Okay, now I'm at my 
cable, so I need to purl these ones. And you can use stitch markers to let you know where your cable stitches are that you need to purl. But it is actually pretty easy to see. You can see your reverse stockinette. You would knit those and then you have your purl bumps for your cable stitches that you need to purl. Okay, so I worked all of my cable stitches in purl. Now I'm at my reverse stockinette background, so I need to knit those stitches. Okay, row five of the pattern. When you get to your cable stitches, this time you're going to knit the first two, and now slip the next two stitches to your cable or double pointed needle, and again you're holding them in the back of your work. Knit two from your left needle. And again, we need to knit these stitches that have been hanging out in the back of our work here. I'm gonna slip them back onto my left needle and just knit them. Okay, again, we need to do that little two stitch crossover. So I'm going to knit the second stitch on my left needle. Oh, went out of frame. Let me do that again just so you can see. Knitting the second stitch. And now I'm going to knit the first stitch. and drop them both off the left needle at the same time. And then I'm going to knit two. And once again, I'm at my reverse stockinette stitches. So I'm purling those. Row six. I will be knitting my reverse stockinette stitches and purling all of the stitches from the cable. Okay, row seven. This is what we have so far. Again, the reverse stockinette stitches are purled. And when you get to your cable stitches for this row, you're going to start by slipping two to your cable needle and hold them in back of the work. Knit two from the left needle. I'm going to slip my two stitches back onto the left needle. and knit them and our little two stitch crossover where we're knitting the second stitch on the left needle knit the first stitch 
drop them both from the left needle and then knit four and of course the border stitches here and then don't forget row eight of the pattern you would obviously you would knit your reverse stockinette stitches and purl your cable stitches but that is all there is to the stitch pattern and you would just repeat those eight rows for the pattern.